uh, getmail.gmail. Now, if we've typed everything right, which I didn't, let's see, what did I type wrong? You know, the error messages are very clear here. Uh, okay, I need to go back. Let's see. Into my config file here. I just have a typo here. Uh, this needs to be no R there, I put, or no E there. I put an extra E there. Run the command again. Yay, but there were zero messages. Let me quickly send myself an email. Let me open up my web browser here. And I'll go to, I'm doing this off the side. You will not see what I'm doing here. Although you can if you want, I can drag it over here. But I'm just logging into Gmail. Metal X viewer and password metal x password i am now logged in i will create a new email compose and i will send it to myself i'll put the subject as this is my first email to you and i'll say the body this is the body and this is line two and line three. I will send that mail. Now, that's saved up on the Gmail server. If I run my get mail command again here, dot slash get mail dash r, and then the link to our config file for Gmail, I'll hit enter, doo doo doo, and it says retrieving one of one messages, and there it is. Now, at this point, I can cat out uh, our mailbox file because it's basically a plain text file so I can go gmail oh. let me go to my home folder cat gmail gmail dash backup dot mbox and you can see the email here it's got all the header stuff who it's from who it's to what the subject is here's the body this is the body this is line two line three uh, and uh, when I sent it from Gmail, I sent it as uh, HTML, so we have plain text here and HTML, which some people hate, but that's how it was sent. Um, I'm going to send another letter now. Compose a mail. I'll send it to myself once again. And I'll say this is email number two and this is the body and I wrote that with the words going down so I have four lines here I'll send that now and also I want to mention that the way we have this set up it does not remove the stuff from the server so it's storing it locally but not removing it from the server now I can run my get mail again get mail command again I have to go into my get mail folder since I don't have it installed to the system and once again it's get mail dash r and then the link to our config file. And it retrieved one new message. You notice it does not retrieve uh, the old message over again the way we have it set up. Um, so right now, we can once again go back and I can cat out that mailbox file. And it, has, it displays both emails. Now that would be kind of hard to read if you have hundreds of emails. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in as root and I am going to install a package called mutt which is just oops get install mutt and this is going to allow us to easily view all the emails. Now you don't have to use mutt you could copy it to another computer and use Outlook or Thunderbird if you want. So at this point I'm going to exit out of root back into regular user I'm going to type in mutt dash f for file and then where the mailbox file is saved it's going to ask me if I want to create a mailbox for Tux. I'm just going to say no for now but you can see I have both the emails I downloaded I can choose one with my arrow key and hit enter to view it, it shows date who it's from who it's to subject and it reads the lines out to us I can hit I to go back out to my main menu find the next one I want and there you go and this is the body so that is a very simple way 
Although it may seem complex to new users, administrators, system administrators, that what I did should be very simple uh, for you to do. And I did it step by step. So just watch the video a few times till you get it. And you just create yourself a mail server backup that you can use any computer. Uh, and actually my next video is gonna be a suggestion on what computers to use. But you run this in a loop or a cron job that runs once or twice a day or however often you think it's needed but it's minimal system resources. You can use pretty much any computer, and, you know, even if it's 10 years old, it'd be fast enough, more than fast enough to, to run this and back up. Just make sure you have plenty of storage space, uh, depending on what type of emails are being sent. So keep watching. I'll have another video on uh, actual, more on what server hardware I think you could use in a minute.